do the sex. Welcome to Masturbation Monday with me, Annette Benedetti, your host for Locker Room Talk and Chats. This is your invitation to join me for coffee in bed and a candid conversation about the masturbation practice I am developing to support my mental, physical, and emotional health and help manifest my dreams. Masturbation Monday is a guide to self-pleasure, better sex, and using the power of the pussy to open new doors to a better life. <laughs> Ring loop. Today's Masturbation Monday topic is how masturbating regularly changes women's personality. Now, I'm going to be drawing on my own experience as of lately, but I did dive into the research to see if other women were having the same experience I am having. Basically, over the last couple of weeks, I've been in situations that were identical to ones I've had in the recent past and in the long-term past. So you might say I came face to face with some of my own harmful patterns in my life. The specific pattern I've been faced with is one of self-abandonment. And what I've learned about myself over the past handful of years through a combination of therapy and self-reflection is that when I'm in a relationship with others, whether that relationship is friendship-based or sex and intimacy-based, is that I tend to self-abandon when people I care about treat me poorly, violate a boundary, or just do something, whether intentionally or accidentally, that hurts my feelings. Even when I've had the courage to confront past friends and lovers, and share my feelings, I found that I quickly self-abandon if they push back, and even worse, question myself and my self-worth. Before I know it, I find myself saying things like, is it me? Am I too this, or am I too that? Am I too much? Am I too selfish, insecure, anxious? You name it. The minute someone I've opened up to or connected with and cared for pushes back, I have a pattern of folding and turning on myself. But over the last month or two, I've started to notice a change. It was subtle at first, but recently more pronounced. I have this sense of self-assuredness, a kind of confidence that I've never had before. Not only have I found it easier than ever to be direct with the people in my life when I feel hurt or upset about something, but I also find it strangely easy to stand on business when it comes to honoring my feelings, needs, and worth. What I mean by this is that my default setting is no longer one of self-doubt, self-questioning, and self-criticism in challenging interpersonal situations. In essence, I have my own back. In addition, I have recognized this new sense of self-confidence in general. When I'm out with friends, I have a little extra strut in my step. Whether I've gone out dancing or to gatherings where I'm meeting new people, that you know, intrusive voice in my head that used to constantly wonder what people thought of me and worried about whether or not new people liked me, found me attractive or not, has become silence. And I found that connecting and talking with people and even flirting a little bit is easier. I guess what I'm saying is that I feel like I've changed a lot since I've started my self-love journey, which as you know, includes an intentional and purposeful masturbation practice. So reflecting on these pretty profound changes in my personality got me to wondering about how masturbation changes personality in women. Like, is there science or research back info on the correlation between masturbation frequency and personality changes in women? And as it turns out, there is. So grab your coffee because you don't want to miss these five research-backed ways that regular masturbation can influence and even change a woman's personality. Cheers. Let's get ready to talk about masturbation. Uh, before we dive in, I do want to say one commonality between all of the research articles I dug through is that there was always a mention of how hard it is to study the effects of masturbation in women because there are so few women out there who, well, either truly are masturbating or at least openly admitting to it. So trying to find a big cohort of women who are masturbating to study is apparently a challenge. I think that's changing though. But there have been studies done over and over again over the past several years. And they do seem to all point to some of the same findings uh, that influence a woman's personality, how she acts 
out in the world as well as how she acts in bed. So let's just dive in. The number one finding is that when women masturbate regularly, they have increased body confidence. Their body self-image, body positivity skyrockets. Now, what I found particularly interesting in this finding was there was one specific way in which women's body confidence changes or increases. And it's especially when it comes to their pussy, when it comes to their genitals. Women who masturbate more frequently feel better about their genitals. Now, I think there is no denying that if you are feeling more body confidence in bed, if you're feeling better about how you look and feel and move with your clothes off in bed with another person, you're going to carry that into your day-to-day life. How could it be any other way, especially if you're loving your pussy? I mean, that's going to give you that extra pep in your step, I would think. So, ladies, if you are feeling low about yourself right now, especially when it comes to your body, especially as we're heading into the warm weather season, get out that vibrator. You're going to be loving on yourself in no time at all. Now, the second major finding was that women who masturbate frequently have increased sexual agency. Now, what that means essentially is that women with this increased sexual agency are more able to identify and communicate and negotiate their own needs and to initiate and insist on or stop behaviors that either do or don't meet those needs. So essentially, in one of the most vulnerable situations in our lives, in sexual situations, women who masturbate more frequently are able to verbalize their needs make sure those needs get met, and stop behaviors that stop those needs from getting met. And so it, it only makes sense to me that that is going to transfer into the rest of your life, right? Uh, and so for my personal self, I'm like, well, it makes sense that as I am going through this masturbation practice, um, you know, which is, though it's been more recent that I've been super intentional about it, super intentional. Uh, I did do my 365 days of orgasms challenge uh, in, tw- well, was it 2022? I've learned a lot about my needs. I have started to be able to verbalize that. Um, and so it makes sense that then when it comes to my day-to-day life outside of the bedroom, that I am more able to verbalize and insist on being treated in the way I need to be treated treated to get my needs met. Number three, women who masturbate regularly have an increased sense of self-knowledge. And in the studies I've read, this isn't just about um, how to be touched so that they orgasm. It was related to the fantasies they have, learning about their wants and needs, learning about that their thoughts thought processes, their emotions when it comes to being touched and when it comes to being pleasured. As you know, by now, hopefully, listener, if you've been around for any amount of time, women's sexual uh, satisfaction and pleasure is closely tied to, you know, their mindset, their thought processes and their emotional body. So this type of self-knowledge isn't just about the physical, about where and how to be touched. It's also about the mental and emotional. Uh, And that's just the more we know ourselves, the more confident we are going to be moving through the world. So when the world pushes back and says, no, you're this, that, and this, you are going to be more well equipped to say, "Ah, I know who I am. I know who I am because I am spending time with myself in the most intimate, vulnerable way and getting to know who I am. So I know with confidence this is who I am, regardless of what you're trying to tell me about who I am. Number four, uh, increased sexual self-esteem. So women who masturbate uh, regularly are like feel better about uh, themselves, not only in bed, but just generally, sensually in the world. And that I love. 
I love the fact that this masturbation practice and whether and this is whether or not they're actually having partnered sex, I should add that in. So uh, even if these women aren't like having regular sex with a partner, just having this masturbation practice gives them this sexual self esteem, both in the bedroom and outside of the bedroom. So you know, when they're in the club, when they're out I don't know, at the gym, they feel sexually empowered and confident in their ability to attract people if that's what they should choose to do. Uh, Number five, I thought was interesting, not surprising at all, uh, but important is that um, women who are masturbating regularly report having uh, better relationships and having higher satisfaction in their relationships, being able to, in their relationships, have the experience they want, need, and desire. Uh, They're more likely to stay in those relationships and feel fulfilled. The way that I, I think about how this affects personality change is oftentimes in relationships, women report having a hard time asking for what they want, getting their needs met. And a regular masturbation practice makes having the confidence in a relationship to ask your partner uh, for what you need, find out what they want and need and create the satisfying connection is just more possible. And then finally, uh, One of my favorite research findings is that masturbation actually helps women's bodies stay sexual, even if they're not having sex. So even if they're not having sex, they haven't had sex in five years, but they've been masturbating the whole time, their body and their mind, their thoughts will stay in the erotic realm And they tend to maintain sort of an open mind to sexuality and uh, sensuality. Uh, Also, it keeps, well, I mean, this is less about personality, more about the body, but it does keep their body and sexual health uh, in place. So it keeps the skin healthy uh, in the vulva area and your organs healthy. But um, I want to talk more about the direct influence on your persona, that being able to have that sensual persona. I think sometimes people get sex and being sexy and being sexually charged or horny confused with being sensual and having sort of a sensual persona. I mean, I guess one way to phrase it is we all know women who walk into a room And there's just something about them that bring in this like sexually charged energy. Even if they're not looking for a partner, even if they're not flirting, there's just something about their aura. Well, if that is something you want to cultivate in yourself, a regular masturbation practice is going to help you with that. Whether or not you are banging, or even want to have sex with anyone. Um, And this does not surprise me at all, because I know that during times of my life when I have stopped masturbating and I wasn't having sex, um, I just, I lost that charge. I lost that added energy. And there's so much energy in sensuality, feel good energy in sensuality. And then when I started learning uh, how to masturbate better, doing some edging. We haven't talked about that here, but we will. And spending time every day masturbating to wake my body up again, it really flooded kind of my whole sense of self. I spent more time on myself. I felt more, I hate the word juicy, but you know, sexy and sumptuous moving through the world. So those are six little tidbits of research information that I have pulled uh, from various sources. I dove into the archives of sexual behavior and found a lot of this research. Uh, But I think in summary, as I was reading sort of these findings about women who masturbate more have more body confidence, they, they can communicate better, they know themselves and can communicate better, they have this self-esteem and sensuality and more satisfaction in their life, it really 
clarified the changes I'm feeling within myself. A masturbation practice is truly a practice of self-love. It's about getting to know yourself, getting to appreciate yourself, prioritizing your needs, getting your needs met, even if you don't have someone else to meet them. And I love now that there is this added layer of also having a masturbation practice be something that can literally help you change your persona, your personality, the way you move through this world and interact with others in a way that serves you and serves the people you care about. Because you are never in service of another person. If you aren't being true to who you are, if you aren't being your true self, if you are letting things that hurt you fester and go by the wayside until they become so ugly that relationships fracture. And if speaking your own needs and talking to the people you care about and you're connected with causes a fracture instantly, that is not a relationship you need in your life anyways. So I'm hoping that this information I'm sharing with you today gives you a little insight into ways that having this regular masturbation practice can serve you in the quality of your own life and also help you create, maintain, and cut off connections that do and don't serve you so that you can have the most fulfilled life possible. So that's how my masturbation practice is changing my personality. Uh, If you're listening to this, let me know how your own practice is influencing your life. Do you notice a difference? Are you with someone? Are you with a woman or a vulva owner who has a regular uh, masturbation practice? How does it influence their personality in your experience if you are their partner? Uh, You know what to do. Uh, You can comment below or email me at Annette, A-N-N-E-T-T-E, at SheExploresLife.com. So until next time, go get to masturbating. I'll see you in the (laughs) morning. Cheers. (laughs) Ring loop.